Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You know, since we brought aboard Citrix GoToMeeting as a sponsor of our videos, both live and recorded, and you'll see their logo uh, floating through here, down here where we have all of our partners and sponsors logos floating through. And um, they've been a, a great, a great sponsor, perfect match, because every single day, people ask if we're going to be doing a go-to meeting. And you know, we've talked about it before, go-to meeting allows you to share your desktop with the rest of the world. What about doing it the other way around? So let's say for argument's sake, your mom is having a problem with some software. Now, have you ever gone through this? No, right click. No, can you just, with your right mouse button. Well, they're both, they're both correct. I'm not saying the correct one. I'm saying the right one, the one that's on the left and right, right. Yes, the right one. Just, no, click on the, the, the icon. That's the little picture. No, not the picture of the dog. That's your desktop wallpaper. It's, it's a wallpaper, not a screensaver. The screensaver uh, moves. No, don't, don't get, it just, you've been through that, right? You know what I'm talking about. So to try to initiate any kind of remote desktop session with your family, if they don't have any software installed, it's, it's tricky, if not impossible. I mean, even Windows, it comes with that, you know, remote help built in. Uh, and even that is uh, a challenge and a half, especially uh, the less someone knows about technology. It's easier to hand someone a URL to click on and then have them click on it and then open up a screen sharing session from there, isn't it? Wouldn't you imagine? Well, that's kind of what this new product from Citrix is going to do. Go to Assist. Now, right now, this is in complete beta. In fact, if you go to express.gotoassist.com, that's express.gotoassist.com, this is a public beta that will allow you to initiate screen sharing sessions with either Windows or Mac users. Now, the client, the controlling client, is currently only based in Windows, but I can browse someone else's Mac screen and control their Mac from this interface, and of course, Windows users as well. As I said, this is a public beta, which means anybody can sign up for it. I said, you know, everybody loves the GoToMeeting, and I know you do because everyone asks about it. This is your chance to give feedback to this company to tell them what you've always wanted and needed in this kind of product. It's as simple as saying, Mom, do you see that link I just sent you in Instant Messenger? Click it. Or, Mom, go to this website. Can you, can you go to this website for me? Okay, and type this in. Okay, and then suddenly, bing, bang, boom, you're connected to her desktop, or anybody's desktop for that matter, and you can control the screen. Not just that, it's, it's, it goes beyond controlling the screen. And I, I wanted to highlight a few of the things that I was, just, I was just wowed by. Right now, what I've asked all the people in the chat room right now, they're down below, uh, at live.perlo.com, I've opened up a few customer sessions. I'm actually able to open up multiple sessions with multiple customers. And of course, you'd not really think of your family members as customers, but you get the idea that they're targeting small business uh, who has to do a lot of remote support. I'm thinking as my family, uh, dealing with them, that's a business in and of itself. So right now, I'm looking at someone's screen. I can control their screen. I can initiate a file transfer so I can send them files. And this is really cool. I can request a diagnostic to be sent to that machine. And what will happen if that person says, yes, that's fine, I'll let you return diagnostics. Here, I'm just switching to another screen. This is a Mac. Let's try customer number nine, request diagnostic reports. And hopefully one of these guys who's, who's listening will be able to uh, return that request, display diagnostics report. And this is where it gets really cool. Ah, here we go. Diagnostic report of the person who's running the Mac. Now I'm not gonna you know, name any IP addresses or anything, but it tells me a summary telling me the system model. This is the Mac. From a PC tells me it's a MacBook Pro 15 running 10.4.11, uh, uh, the kernel version, system name, 
the processor, the number of processor, processor speed, physical memory, the username, serial number, boot ROM version. And then I can go down to running applications, even on a Mac. I can get a list of all the applications that this user is running. Looks like they're running text edit, iTunes, QuickTime, Excel, QuickBooks, Safari, Mail, Finder, so on and so forth. I can find out what programs launch on startup. This person's using a Mac and I'm looking at it from the PC. I'm supporting. I'm like, oh, that's the problem. You're running this program at startup and it's throwing everything off. I can see the installed applications list. Now, again, that's just on this user's computer, that customer's computer. If I flip over to customer 9, well, they're running Windows XP with uh, Service Pack 1 installed. I got the system name, system model, system manufacturer, processor, BIOS version, IP address, Windows directory, locale, applications, processes, startup program. And by the way, in the processes list, this is great, especially if you're trying to troubleshoot some spyware on the other end. It tells you the full path of all the programs that are running, startup programs, logical drives, network connections, devices, Internet Explorer, and everything that's going on there, services running stopped, installed applications, Microsoft Office information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's more than just screen sharing. It's actually going forward with troubleshooting. So instead of asking someone to, can you right click on your taskbar? No, your taskbar. That's the thing at the bottom of the screen. No, not the start button, the taskbar. Okay, choose pro <laughs> We've all been there. So code to assist is Citrix's entrance into this area of remote support. And as I said, this is an open beta and obviously I'm excited about it. Yes, they're a sponsor, full disclosure. But the reason why I'm excited about it specifically is it's an open public beta and they're asking for feedback now they haven't determined pricing yet they don't know where they want to go with this so what that means for everybody who's watching this video this is your chance your chance to give feedback what are they missing here what needs to change what bugs are you running into what do you want to see in this type of application don't tell me don't leave a comment don't even email me they've set up a forum where you can go and post your feedback and I, I, you know, I can't make any promises for what's going to happen in the future, but people ask me all the time, Chris, how do I beta test? How do I be a good beta tester? Well, you participate, you send feedback to where it matters, you, be, you answer questions, you ask questions, you, you don't annoy the people that are asking you to beta test, but you help them. You help them make this a better product. And they, you know, may return the thanks in the end of the day. Like I said, they have not yet determined pricing for this yet. And they said, Chris, you know, I don't know how many people you're going to send to sign up for this program. I said, look, it's free to sign up. It's free to beta test. I know I want it because I know what I've dealt with with family members and friends who don't really know what's going on. And I know now I can keep their desktops open. Well, I'm not going to do that 24 hours a day. But even in a customer scenario where you have to watch multiple computers, you can do that with GoToAssist. Uh, so again, express.gotoassist.com, free beta account, give feedback. Don't just sign up and sit on this, folks. I'm telling you, if you want, if you want Citrix to pay attention to you, if you want to give feedback, this is your chance. Now, some people might say, oh, VNC, that, that, that works. I suggested VNC as well. However, have you ever tried stepping a parent through installing VNC? Have you done it? Have you tried it? Have you? Because more power to you. I, I wouldn't even dare try to do that. They're targeting this towards, as I said, small businesses, but I certainly see a lot of familial applications uh, for it, certainly. Uh, it, it's got a great interface. They did clean it up compared to GoToMeeting, which, again, is another product that was you know, geared for a different audience. Uh, oh, and it looks like this customer who I'm currently viewing says, I used this earlier, Chris. It works great. And, I mean, as I said, you can view Mac desktops, uh, PC desktops. Uh, it's secure. You don't have to open up any ports, allegedly, on your firewall, uh, which is nice, uh, or anywhere on your router. Here's a, a Mac desktop. Looks like someone's running uh, Leopard here. Uh, they're watching me, and they're in the chat room and everything. Uh, what? looks good uh, of course the the view uh, view screen that i have is scalable that's the thing i love about citrix they did a good job at well it's like i'm sitting right in in front of the computer myself it says hello anybody i'm using windows see i got a little chat window open with uh the person here oh i even saw a dashboard there for a second 
So the software does run on OS 10 Leopard, does run on Vista, does run on XP, at least, you know, being able to, to remote into it. And that's, oh, that's another thing I gotta tell you. The sessions, you can set up unattended sessions, meaning you can set up something on your computer, Mac or, or Windows, and automatically log into it easily because after authentication, so you can set it up to go unattended. So think of it, well, you can think of it like, like a VNC. I think this is going to be a little more friendly <laughs> to use, certainly to get to, uh, for most users. You got to, yeah, remember, you got, we're not talking about people like me. We're not talking possibly about people like you. We're talking about the people that we know who don't know the difference between a mouse and a keyboard. And we all, I'm not making fun of them. I'm just saying this is the type of product that it, that this, well, this that's the type of person this product is perfect for. I'll say it again, express.gotoassist.com. Sign up for a free beta. Um, there's no chance that you can say that you found out about it through me. I don't care. Participate in the forums. I would like you to do that because I want to I want to give them good feedback so that this is a better product. And I hopefully want them to see that you are a valid member of a community of people who need this product. Anyway, so I, I got to thank them for their support of our program. I got to thank them for opening this beta to the public, uh, and you know, doing this in the first place. I, this is a, it's it's going to become increasingly easier to help people remotely without getting geeky. So anyway, my email address, as they're pointing out in the chat room there, is chris at perillo.com. If you know of, uh, well, any other helpful resources to help people remotely, uh, network resources, internet resources, I look at anything. I love things that help other people because I do like helping other people. And even if I'm not feeling in a helpful mood, that's okay. I'm streaming this live video out over the internet, uh, even though I'm switching back and forth between people. Well, that's a boring screen there, but it is, it's another Mac there. Well, there's Windows. This person's in the chat room right now. Because, see, we got the chat open 24 hours a day. And the live video going 24 hours a day, too. And we're talking about solutions and products and games and, and fun stuff, stuff that's related to productivity. Uh, people ask questions about uh, product knowledge, uh, product reviews, uh, you name it. We're just we're in love with technology, and we'd love to, to see you some point in the near future possibly. The only thing you got to do is just open up your web browser or open up the chat room because it's an IRC channel. See, because we've got, there's the live video widget that this guy's got running on his desktop and, and then he's got their chat room. But let's say you don't have all that installed. Well, then all you got to do is just go over to a website and that website is live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.